Will China help Saudi Arabia become a nuclear power? Our next story highlights a significant development in West Asia. Riyadh is reportedly considering a bid from Beijing to construct its first ever nuclear plant. The move raises a series of serious questions. Number one, what does this growing bonhomie between Saudi Arabia and China mean for the United States? Number two, what does it mean for India? Saudi Arabia, remember, is India's strategic partner. And we will answer that in just a bit. First, the basics. Saudi officials have informed the Wall Street Journal that they are currently exploring an offer from China National Nuclear Corp. It is an offer to establish a nuclear facility. And where will the facility be built? Near the borders of Qatar and the UAE. China also has shared its side of the story. China will continue to conduct mutually beneficial cooperation with Saudi Arabia in various fields, including civil nuclear energy, while strictly abiding by international non-proliferation obligations. And now that uh, you've heard both the sides speak, here's something you may want to note. This potential nuclear program aligns with the strategic goal of the Saudi Crown Prince. I'm talking about Mohammed bin Salman. He wants to diversify Saudi Arabia's energy sources and the creation of a nuclear energy sector fits rather perfectly with that goal. And for the United States, though, the development means bad news. Reports say the Saudis and Americans were in talks for building a nuclear plant. So what happened there? The Americans sought significant concessions from Riyadh, you see. They put con conditions. What kind of conditions exactly? Americans reportedly said that they will only help Saudi Arabia if, number one, Riyadh refrains from uranium enrichment. In other words, not walk down the path of building nuclear weapons. And number two, Riyadh also refrains from mining uranium on its own soil. China's help does not seem to come with these clauses. So what happens next? Will Beijing and Riyadh jointly lay the foundation stone or will the Biden administration have to compromise on its non-proliferation requirements? Saudi officials have reportedly told the Wall Street Journal that Riyadh would prefer partnering with America. Not just that, Saudis will also prefer hiring a South Korean firm to build the plant. And that said, if Washington refuses to budge on its demands, the Saudis are willing to go with Beijing. The Chinese president, Xi Jinping, would want nothing less, of course. Beijing wants to build as many as 30 nuclear reactors across Asia, Africa and West Asia over the next decade. This is part of Xi Jinping's grand BRI blueprint. Building a nuclear reactor in Saudi Arabia will also help China expand its influence in West Asia. Xi Jinping visited Saudi Arabia in December 2022. China is also brokering Saudi-Iran peace. The latest development takes the growing closeness between the two sides a step forward. Remember, this is a relationship based on trade. Beijing is Riyadh's largest trading partner. China and Saudi Arabia have extensive trade relations in the energy field. China is the world's biggest importer of crude oil and Saudi Arabia the biggest exporter. State-run China Energy Engineering Corp. is also building a 2.6 GW solar power station in Al Shoeba. Alongside Saudi utility developer ACWA Power, it is being touted as West Asia's largest solar project. In recent years, Riyadh and Beijing have publicly announced several joint nuclear projects, including one to extract uranium from seawater. And that project will help Saudi Arabia develop a nuclear energy program or become an, a uranium exporter. 
In 2017, Saudi Arabia and China agreed to cooperate on nuclear energy projects in order to support the kingdom's nuclear energy program. And at that time, the China National Nuclear Corp signed an MOU with the Saudi Geological Survey to pursue cooperation in exploring and assessing uranium and thorium resources. And the Chinese nuclear companies could offer complete construction and operation packages with attractive financing options. In parallel with civilian nuclear energy cooperation with China, Saudi Arabia had also entered talks with the Trump administration. However, the kingdom has consistently refused to sign on to the standard International Atomic Energy Agency requirements. And this led to a deadlock in the discussions regarding nuclear cooperation with the U.S. It was at this point that Saudi Arabia turned to Beijing. A relatively unfettered access to nuclear technology and it is cheaper. But what does all of this mean for India? New Delhi and Riyadh are strategic partners. For India, China's entry into Saudi Arabia's nuclear plants could mean key friends slipping deeper into the dragon's grip. What about the region, West Asia? There are fears that Saudi Arabia's acquisition of nuclear capability could draw regional powers to join the regional nuclear race. It could also spur a regional nuclear arms race. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.